Agit Guides is one of the core operators in Ornatrix for Maya and it does various operations that support brushing, creation and deletion of uh, hairs and strands and uh, various other things that modify the hair shape or the placement of the roots. However, it also provides different ways of tracking and storing the way that it modifies the hair data. The different tools at the top, like the brush tool, actually perform the different modifications but the modifications themselves are stored inside the edit guides shape which is part of the operator stack in this case i have my edit guides shape selected here and once it's selected in the attribute editor you see the various operations as well as different parameters that you can modify to affect how the edit guides modifies the hairs themselves if you open up the interpolation options here you can see that there is a change tracking option and this option by default is set to surface but you also have a strand option available to you so let's quickly explore what is the difference between these two options what they do and how you can use them so right now I have been modifying the hair with my edit guides operator but let me undo my changes and to make things simpler and more visual I'm going to turn off my hair from guides operator so we work directly on the guides which we have a uh, fewer of inside this scene so if I modify uh, some of the guides right now and I uh, later go into the guides from mesh operator I can change the input guides that go into the edit guides operator so I can for example change the count of the input guides and as you see if I do that the edit guides operator right now tries to apply the changes to the shape as well as it can without destroying any of my changes so let me undo that back and the, the reason that it does that is because I have ch set my change tracking to surface so all of the changes that I make to the guides are tracked according to the base surface so if I introduce new guides or I delete some other guides then it's going to find the positions on the surface of the new guides and it's going to try to apply the changes made to the guides previously in this operator to the new guides uh, to preserve the hair shape so let me once again undo all of the changes that are made to my guides and I can also change the change tracking here to strand and after I do this I can brush my hairs just the same way as I did before but now the changes made to the guides are stored directly relative to the strands that I modified so it's actually referencing these specific strands and then applying the changes to them what this means in a global context is that if you go back to the guides from mesh operator and you modify the number of input guides or you add some input guides or remove them you see that the changes kind of get destroyed they don't get destroyed completely but if you modify uh, the counts then it's going to apply these changes to specific guides which may not be in the same location as they were earlier and the reason for this is because Ornatrix generates a very unique strand ID each time it, cre it creates a strand and this strand ID is then used to track uh, the changes that edit guides applies to that strand the same strand ID might be generated for one guide if you have one root count but it may be used or reused for a completely different strand if you modify the root count later so for brushing in most cases it's better to in fact use the uh, surface tracking because this way you can ensure that you can later go and change the input guides or, or do some other operations this is especially useful if you apply your changes to the hairs instead of the guides because you are more likely to modify the, the root count or distribution or something like this for the hairs later on in your editing process and if you use surface tracking while you do the brushing you can always go and safely modify the, hair, the input hairs uh, as you please with guides this is not so much an issue because you typically don't modify the guides after you have initially created them furthermore if you use the remember root positions button you can kind of solidify and uh, make sure that the guides never change after they are created surface tracking doesn't only apply to hair modifications you can also apply it to guide deletions uh, or changing things like uh, strand groups so if you have a, a strand change tracking selected and, and if you go and select some strands inside the viewport and you adjust the, the strand groups in this uh, strand group parameter over here um, 
with the strand change tracking it's going to assign strand groups to these specific strands and if you change the input hairs it's going to kind of destroy the changes that you've made uh, but if you use surface tracking it's going to apply uh, the strand groups even if you change the input hairs it's going to keep uh, the strand groups to this specific area but in some cases strand change tracking is very useful because uh, uh, for example if you want to delete just one specific problematic hair without affecting others uh, even if you want to increase or decrease hair count later on it will only remove that specific strand as referenced by its strand ID rather than a group of strands for example if you increase the hair count I hope this clarifies a little bit what this change tracking option does and uh, allows you to use it to your advantage in your own grooms